Do you consider tampons a luxury or a necessity? 40 states in the U.S. seem to say luxury with a tax on tampons. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Krista Baim. Products that are considered necessities, like food and medical supplies, are usually exempt from state sales taxes, but tampons and sanitary napkins are not on that list. The tax on this basic necessity adds up and also generates annual income for the states who use it, like North Dakota. Valley News Team's Giovanna Simich has more on what's being called a gender injustice. Tampon tax. A law that classifies tampons and pads as non-essential luxury items. It's a movement that began in Europe and is now picking up in the United States. Here in North Dakota, there's a sales tax on just about everything. Basically everything but prescription drugs, um, a couple items for uh, diabetic equipment, and also uh, bladder uh, dysfunction equipment is subject to tax. Canada was the first major country to halt the sales tax on feminine hygiene products. Maryland, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania, Minnesota, and New Jersey are states that do not tax feminine hygiene products. The other 45 states either don't have a sales tax or don't consider tampons a necessity. A number of states uh, do not have a specific exemption, uh, but those that do uh, exempt the product uh, normally have something that was passed by the legislature that specifically exempts the feminine products, and, and we do not have that here in North Dakota. On average, Women spend 70 to $100 on tampons and pads a year, something they don't consider a luxury. I think that, that it should be because it, it is something I have to, I have to purchase every, and, and it's, it seems medical to me every month. It's definitely a necessity. Um, my daughter would be horrified if she couldn't use them. I feel like if women should be taxed for tampons, then men should be like, taxed for Viagra. In Fargo, Giovanna Simich, Valley News Live. For more information on the tampon tax in your state, you should contact your state legislators to learn more.